An operon consists of a promoter, an operator, and a group of genes that are transcribed as a single mRNA. The genes in the lac operon encode beta galactosidase, which breaks down lactose that allows E. coli to use lactose as an energy source. The different parts of the lac operon can remember through the acronym PROG, which stands for promoter, repressor, operator, and the genes, which encodes beta galactosidase. The RNA polymerase responsible for transcribing the genes will bind at the promoter. Normally the repressor is bound to the operator and therefore prevents the RNA polymerase from reaching the area where it transcribes the genes by blocking it. However, there are two conditions that if true activates the lac operon. These conditions are 1 a low level of glucose and two, a high level of lactose in the environment. This makes a lot of sense since if there is a high level of glucose there is no need to break down lactose into glucose and if there is no lactose to break down well you understand the problem. So how do these conditions actually regulate the gene expression? Well first of all the repressor has a binding site for allolactose which is created naturally if lactose is present in the cell. When allolactose binds to the repressor at this site, it causes a conformational change in the repressor, preventing it from binding to the operator. Then the RNA polymerase is no longer blocked and subsequently may transcribe the gene. This will in turn create beta galactosidase, which breaks down lactose as well as the allolactose bound to the repressor. In other words, once the lactose and allolactose has been broken down into galactose and glucose, which can be used by the bacteria for energy, the repressor once again binds to the operator, which in turn stops the creation of beta galactosidase. But what about the glucose level? Well, a low glucose level leads to high levels of something called cyclic AMP, or just CAMP. CAMP binds to the CAP region, which exists before the promoter on the DNA strand, and once it has bound to the CAP region, it interacts with the RNA polymerase to increase the rate of transcription. In this way, if the level of glucose is really low and lactose is present, the RNA polymerase starts to quickly create beta galactosidase. If you want to learn about the tryptophan operon, check out this video. Until next time.